everybody doing? Beautiful. I'm checking out your garden. How's everybody doing? Whoa. What are you having for breakfast? A donut? I have a really sketchy situation with this camera setup. We're getting ready for the day. Nothing fancy. It's Good Friday. Everett's last day at his preschool was yesterday. He's done there now. Ella's on spring break. Also, thank you guys so much for being so kind and loving and sweet and understanding on my last video about my dad. I felt so much better, by the way, after I had that really good cry, talked to my therapist. It was a very emotional experience and it was like a whirlwind. So I didn't really have time to process. <clears throat> I haven't eaten anything yet, so I haven't gotten to show you any food, but I wanted to give you guys some updates on the cleanse we're doing, the Parasite Cleanse while I straighten my hair. John just, I have a Reba shirt on right now, and John's like, you've never looked more fitting for the part. You know? Listen, I don't make the rules, okay? I have frizzy hair, I gotta do something with it. I have to pick up a grocery order, I had to get stuff for Easter breakfast, cause we're gonna have company, and I got us public subs for dinner, slash lunch, slash whenever we feel like eating, so, my probably what I eat a day is so boring. It's why I always feel like weird sharing food because I just eat whatever I want to eat. I just eat less of it. And I try and stay high protein, but I don't always stay high protein. But I wanted to tell you guys about the Parasite Cleanse and Heavy Metal Detox we're doing, which I never got to talk to you guys after I put that first video out. <sighs> I'm so thankful so many of us are the same. <laughs> You guys are my people. I was really nervous to talk about all of this because I was like, oh, people are either gonna think I'm actually crazy or they're gonna get it. And I feel like in my health and wellness journey, I've learned a lot and I'm trying really hard to make really good decisions and even maybe undo some of the things that we've done in our lives via food and other things. Um, so I'm really glad that you guys are like totally supportive. Freaking love you for that. But the Parasite Cleanse is going really well. Um, Ev is now on his week off cycle, so he did a full protocol four weeks and now he's on a week off and then he'll do four weeks again. And I'm going to tell you some things that I did notice during this parasite cleanse. I'm not saying correlation is causation, you know what I mean? But all of these things started happening as um, we've been detoxing. So he's had major, 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 he's, had, he's made ma major progress with his language and his communication. Um, we've noticed a huge uptick in verbal communication, which is wild. It's been so crazy. Don't know if they're linked. I'm not saying if you do a detox, your kid's going to talk. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's strange that it all of a sudden is starting to do such a thing. But he also just turned three and maybe that's it. I don't know. Other things. The teeth grinding has gone away. Both of my kids are more regular. I'm more regular and I have noticed now um, I don't my TMJ like my lock jaw has chilled out significantly I get mastodere Botox for that I haven't had that in well over 12 weeks so that's worn off and I don't have any jaw pain I just feel so much freaking better getting the shit out of me so it's been a it's been a huge win for us overall so look how long my hair is getting this is nuts all of this hair is new growth all of this like look at this all of this is growing in i lost a significant amount of hair um the first year of losing weight significant and now it's all starting to come back in i'm very thankful for it i'm not doing anything crazy other than i take all my vitamins stay high protein and i try and just make sure i'm getting enough nutrients in my body so that my body knows what to do oh i also added in colostrum to my daily regimen, I'll show you guys my subs. I have so much to show you. I realized as I walked into my garden this morning, you guys haven't seen my spring garden yet. I made a whole gardening video when we moved into this house before I had um, my little spell of depression slash uh, fight or flight wearing off from all the trauma. Um, I My fall garden sucked and it did not do well at all, but my spring garden is gorgeous and she is thriving and we have crops and it's a huge part of our daily life especially everett and i we are big in the gardens um i'm gonna show you the supplements that i take every day i got stuff to show you i'm excited i love it i've never felt better honestly i've never felt better in my entire life 
and it's almost scary like how much better I feel. Oh, something I've added in since our last talk. I don't know if I got a good one. Um, I just, it was a top rated on Amazon, but I started oil pulling uh, every single day. And I don't know, I don't notice a huge difference yet, but they say it's really, really good for detoxing, opens up your pathways, gets out all those toxins out of your mouth. It can whiten your teeth, but that's not really, I don't really care so much about that as I do about the detoxing effects. And I had a few of you comment on my, for, not the last video, but the video before that, um, about oil pulling. And I think someone was almost being facetious, like, oh, is she gonna start oil pulling now? I'm like, yeah, yeah. I started doing that too. If you have a cleaner version, the ingredients in this aren't terrible at all. If you guys have a better version of this, I think you can just use coconut oil, but I'm, I'm a little nervous about that. Hi. Hmm? Do you want to come up? Can I kiss? Let me kiss. If you've been on my channel for any amount of time, you know how passionate I am about deep sleep, good rest, and making sure that I'm sleeping on a mattress that was made for me. And that's why I would like to thank Helix for sponsoring today's video. If you've never heard me talk about Helix before, I always say this, you must be new here. Helix is a mattress company that delivers mattress straight to your door. You go online, you take their sleep quiz, and it will match you with the mattress that is best suited for your needs. When I took our sleep quiz, I was matched with the Helix Plus. The Helix Plus mattress is made for plus size people. It's made for people like me. It's made for people like John. We are notoriously hard on furniture. Mattresses just historically do not hold up well for us. And we have been sleeping on our Helix Plus mattress for four years. My shoulder pain, my back pain. I can't just sleep on a regular bed now. It's made me a bed snob. It's both a blessing and a curse. So when you go online and take your sleep quiz, it'll match you with the mattress that is best suited for you. It shows up at your front door. You bring it inside, you open it up. It inflates itself. It's so easy. It's beyond easy. Helix also offers you a 100 night sleep trial. So you can sleep on your bed for 100 nights. If you don't love it, send it back. They also have a 10 year warranty on all of their mattresses. So if anything were to go wrong in that 10 years, you can get it replaced. As a new crunch, it is really important to me what is in our mattress and what they're exposed to because we spend so much of our time sleeping on them and I'm happy to say that fiberglass is not something that is in a helix mattress so they are all fiberglass free no yucky junk they hold up amazing they're incredible and I always say this try their sheets try their sheets trust me trust me helix also has a financing option which I think is really important in this day and age not all of us can go out and buy such a huge expense um, for me there is nothing that is more important than good sleep period I am not a sleep when you're dead person. I'm sleep right now. Sleep right now, live longer. If you guys wanna try Helix for yourself, you can go to helixsleep.com slash Lauren Brazy for 20% off of your mattress plus two free pillows. I will leave all that information down below and thank you again to Helix for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. A daily lineup, it's intense. I gotta show you guys what's going on here because they all just kind of sit out here. All right, we have our detox, uh, the vitamin D3, this is bee pollen. We take this daily. Obviously my new Vita gummies, those are nighttime. Those are for fun or for chill. Um, this is something we're gonna do right now. I take a daily colostrum. I was telling you guys about that. There's my Paxil in the mix. We're gonna add a little electrolytes to the mix. The daily greens.
We're vlogging on the road here. Go. I know I'm going. We just have to wait. Um, because we're out, we're stopping at Starbucks. Ev has, he's a picky eater and he loves their ham and Swiss croissants and it's lunchtime. It's like 1.30 ish right now. So I got him a ham and Swiss croissant and I got myself some bacon Gruyere egg bites. They're 300 calories and I think I'm gonna have to double check, but I'm pretty sure. Let's look. How many grams of protein are in the Starbucks bacon egg bite? 19 grams of protein. Heck yeah. Um, I had that shake earlier, like a couple hours ago, not even, and that has like 20, I think it's 26 grams of protein. So if you add this in, it'll be, I don't know. I don't do math. 36, 45. So I'm at 45 grams of protein for the day and only at like 450, 450 calories between the two and that's me being generous. That's how I try and eat. I know I always talk about like high protein, high protein. It's because as long as I try really hard to make sure that something, what I'm eating has a decent amount of protein in it, I don't feel bad about the calories. So I would have gotten the potato egg bite or the potato chive bakes. Those are like 200 calories. They have no protein in them, but they're so good. Um, they don't have them. So it was God's way of saying, hey, like girl, eat some eggs. Mm. I don't get coffee from Starbucks anymore just because it doesn't sit good in my tummy anymore. Um, all I haven't found anything worth spending the money on that I can drink safely for my gut. Oh, can you see it? I used to eat these all the time in keto. Like I eat every couple hours, I try and eat something. But I buy it mm, every time. Labs. Are you ready for our next adventure? Like I said, we have a couple people coming over on Sunday. So I need to, I don't need to, the grass needs to be mowed. And I told John, instead of me working out, I was gonna take him on a walk. I'm just gonna mow the grass. It makes me so happy out here. So happy and it makes him so happy. So I like to like kill two birds with one stone. So now we're gonna mow the grass. Just like that. Workout complete. Full transparency. Oh my gosh, am I dirty? Huh, not too bad. I didn't really even sweat that bad. Um, full transparency, I ate a Nutri-Grain bar and I had two Italian little sprinkle cookies before I started mowing because I was like, I don't want my sugar to drop. I don't want to feel funny. And I really haven't had that many calories today, like at all. And we have a pretty big yard brings me so much joy. It's not perfect. It might not be the most aesthetically pleasing yard on the planet, but I love it so much. And I really do enjoy 
like mowing the grass and weed eating. And then in a little bit, Eb and I will water our plants. I'm like an old lady. I am starving and I have not eaten enough food today. This is probably a terrible um, picture of what I eat in a day, but not really because some days when I'm really busy, I tend to drink more and then eat a meal at night. Sometimes it changes, but tonight we have public subs and I'm gonna have half of one right now because I'm so hungry. My go-to public sub is a Italian on white bread with provolone, lettuce, cucumbers, and onions. Sorry, provolone, it's an Italian sub. And I always put some balsamic glaze on it. Going to have a few pickles on the side and a few of these. That for me is what a full day of eating looked like yesterday and kind of this morning. It changes every day. It changes with that time. It's like my cycle, it changes all the time. And that's why I'm always so hesitant to share because it's nothing special. I'm not meal prepping food and like eating the same rice and chicken five days a week. I try and focus when I'm eating on higher protein and also eating what I'm craving. So I really try and honor my body that way by not neglecting myself of any food or holding back from anything. If I want it, I'll eat it. I just try and make sure I add something in with a little protein because I'm not naturally craving food like I used to, like I did my whole entire life. So when I do want something, I try and honor that. I really do. And because I don't eat a bunch of volume, that's why I always try and make sure there's some heaviness of protein in there. Um, but it doesn't always look like that. And sometimes it looks like a sandwich at 7 p.m. And that's okay because there is no such thing as bad food. It's just always waking up every day, making sure that I'm making as good of choices as I can make while honoring my body and my food choices and tastes so that I'm not going down a dark path um, when and if this medication is not available to me. There are changes that I've had to make to make sure that I have a healthy relationship with food so that I can carry this over for the rest of my life. Um, and that for me means something different than everyone else. I'm, or not. I mean, I just eat. I eat less. I just eat less most of the time. It's beautiful. It's great. I think yesterday I may have had 11, 1200 calories and probably 60 grams of protein. It's not my best day. It's not my worst day. There is no such thing. When you're in a lifestyle change, you just make sure you move your body and try and eat the best you can. And while on this medication, always trying to make sure I focus on higher protein. I hope that helped. If it didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love you guys so much, and I will see you really soon in the next video. Happy Easter. God is good. Bye.